Hey everybody, this is Donnie Vaughn of the Marketing Twins. You can find us at marketingtwins.com or facebook.com slash marketingtwins. Okay, here it is, the big day that uh, a lot of us have seen, the new Facebook changes. Uh, it's got some people really excited, it's got some people hopping mad, and it's got a lot of people are just trying to find out and figure out a way to navigate their way around this. Uh, one of the challenges that we've up, stayed up to date throughout the day with is um, how, you know, this whole news feed and, and why can I not find my news feed and how come it's not updating and I don't want top stories. I don't want Facebook telling me what's important to me and all these kind of things. And so let me kind of try to show you in five minutes or less uh, a little cool tip that we you could do to help you, uh, at least in the beginning, learn how to navigate this. Uh, many of us have a lot of friends on Facebook. We've accumulated a lot of Facebook friends over the years. Some of us in hundreds and thousands and who knows what. But really, truth is, when you come to Facebook, you want to know what you really, you know, some of your closest friends are doing. And uh, especially if you've been away from Facebook in a while and you kind of have lost touch with what's going on, even if you're off of it for a day or two, you can really lose track of what's going on with some of your closest friends. So today's tip is going to show you how to do this a little bit easier. Um, okay, real quickly, this news feed that we're accustomed to seeing in the middle here has been replaced by this recent stories, or if you haven't been on here in a while, it'll say top events, and it'll tell you based on the number of likes and comments that Facebook has determined what they think is the most important stuff. It drives some people crazy, but that's the way it is. Over here, they've created what is called the ticker uh, because it updates automatically, just like a ticker would in a Wall Street type of uh, sign, et cetera. And so if you look, and, and this whole thing will update as we're doing this, uh, in essence, your news feed that you're accustomed to seeing has kind of moved over here in the form of a ticker. And so uh, in case you're wondering, now what's really cool is I can hover over. I didn't make that ch change right there. It automatically added Teresa's status. And so I can hover over, and by not doing anything but hovering my mouse, it opens up this stream here. And I can get in here and comment. I can go over to Brandon and see the photo that he commented about. Here's April, like this particular photo. I mean, I can get right into it. So it's a little different than the old news feed, but it's still somewhat there. Again, this is automatically happening as we go. So I'm not a big fan of it because it's so small, and this is really what I want to know. Uh, I This is kind of too slow for me. I want this up here. Uh, so here's a quick and easy way for you to find what's going on with your closest friends. Um, like I said, there's some things that Facebook did that I don't like. This is a really cool thing. For a long time, I've had these lists. These lists were created a long time ago that allowed me to take all of my friends that I have on Facebook and put them into certain groups so that I could filter things out a little bit easier. Should I be in a, in a hurry and I want to know uh, what's going on with my small group, I can go over here to this small group. Uh, I can see that there's three new updates since the last time I was on here. Uh, and so I can go click on that list and only people in that list are people that I've put that are in our small group. Uh, but they've added some, a new thing down here, and I, I should have taken this off for now, but if you don't see the word close friends here, you'll see this list. You can click more, and what you'll see is all of the lists that are in blue are the ones I created. Uh, I don't know what restricted is, the Facebook thing. This color area is a Facebook thing. That's a Facebook thing. This is a Facebook thing based on my profile. They've added these new lists, family, acquaintance, but this is the one I really like, close friends. Well, I have this ace special over here. I created this a long time ago as a way for me to keep track of really my closest friends so that I don't know what they're doing as opposed to the hundreds of people that are on Facebook that I'm friends with. If I was in a hurry, I want to know what my closest friends are. This is what I'm going to go to. Well, guess what? Facebook created this list for me. Now, I can do a couple things here. This favorites thing is really cool. So I can click over here and add that to my favorites, and now that shows up here. So it's a real easy way for me to, to click on it. Next thing I want to do is I can click on that, and I can start adding people to this. Notice I can add these people here. These are just suggestions that they have, and it's so easy. Notice as I'm adding them, it's putting their status updates right in here as we go. And these are, you know, I can just keep adding and adding and adding and adding. I can even search for people here. So, you know, I'm not seeing my brother on the list. Well, there's him. I want to put him on there. Uh, I'll put, you know, there's my wife is on here. So let me uh, put her. I can do all this and it's so cool. And even if you come across somebody and you don't see um, them initially. So let's go to. Um, 
Here's Clint. So if I look at it, Clint status update, and I think, you know, I really like Clint. I'm going to know what's going on with him. Um, I can add him to my close friends list, and this thing will eventually pop up. There it is. It shows all the different lists. Some of those I've already have him in these lists, but I can put him as a close friend. And now I can go back to Facebook, click this button here, or I can click home now, either one. I can go to close friends. And by doing that, um, as Facebook takes a while to load this page, there it is. See, these are all my the people that are in that close friends list. And so I can filter through all of my other friends and get to the close friends by adding, uh, just by having those people in here. And then it lists suggestions. I can just keep adding and adding and adding and adding and keep going. I can just keep adding more people. I can more suggestions. It's really exciting of what things that you can do. I like you can even have them. Uh, you can have them notify you when you by email if one of your close friends puts a status update. I don't think I'll be doing that too much because a lot of emails I get, but it does allow you to to do that. You can manage the list this way. You can. I don't know what merge list. I won't get into that. But you can add and remove people from the list. Uh, but it's a really quick and easy way to find out what's going on with some of your closest friends. So hopefully you'll find that to be a tip. Went about a minute over. I'll blame it on Facebook for nothing else because today is the day we blame Facebook for everything. So sorry if I went a little late, but hopefully you'll find that to be a helpful tip as you navigate the new Facebook uh, uh, process. Thanks.